canceled. We ended up driving 16 hours. Hurricane Nicole wasn't going to stop these two from getting to EDC Orlando. They drove from Chicago to get to the massive three-day event that will draw over 300,000 people. The hurricane actually providing a cooler atmosphere. It brought the temperature down enough where it's where it's not sweating. It's, this is beautiful. I know you can't feel it in the air, but it's beautiful. Beautiful is how EDC vets call the experience. They say being inside, feeling the music, and being surrounded by people feeling the vibe is like something that they just can't explain. It's hard to explain until you experience it, honestly. You have to experience it for yourself to really understand it. This is the 11th year the Electronic Daisy Carnival has been in Orlando. It's as the name describes, a carnival. There are rides, vendors, scares, and good times all about. It's all about spreading love, yeah. honestly, unity, peace. That's what it's all about. That's why we come here every year. Event organizers tell me the hurricane didn't damage any of their equipment, even though they did have to take down some of the larger structures to keep them protected from the storm. And this party is just getting started. It's day one of three. Some of the biggest headliners still have to take the stage. In Orlando, Dave Fuglisi, Fox 35 News.